Hey guys, welcome to the 83rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the timer control. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a timer. So just go over to your toolbox and drag a timer over to your form. And when you drop the timer, you will see that the timer will appear on this little bar down here. And that's because you cannot see the timer control. The only property that we're going to be looking at inside of the timer class is the interval property. And the interval property will basically just tell you in milliseconds how much time the timer will wait in between each tick. So if we put a thousand here, the timer would wait a thousand seconds and then tick. And then it would just repeat that process over and over. And like I said, this is in milliseconds. So 1,000 milliseconds is equal to uh, one second. So 100 milliseconds is equal to one tenth of a second. But we're going to keep it at 1,000. So it'll be one second. In order to start our timer, we're just going to have to use the start method. So just go ahead right here and double click on your button. So we're just going to do timer1.start. Oops, start. And when the timer one, when the timer is started, it will wait out the interval. So it will wait one second, and then it will tick. It won't tick, and then wait the interval. It will wait out the interval and then tick. So if we wanted a message box to be displayed um, after one millisecond, we would have it um, be displayed after one tick. So thankfully, the tick is an event, so we can just go ahead and click on our timer here and. Is create a new event handler for the tick event. So now when the tick event is raised, it will call this method right here. And we're just going to have a message box show saying hello. Oops. Hello. And we should get a message box now after one second because it will wait out the interval, which is one second, and then it will tick, and then causing it to, to do this code right here. So we should get our message box, yep, after one second. But as you can see, it continues to do that message box or do this code because we never told the timer control to stop ticking. So we're just going to have it stop ticking right after it ticks once. So we're going to do timer1.stop. So we need the stop method to stop the timer from ticking. So now what it will do is it will start, it will wait out the one second interval. Then it will stop the timer so it won't tick anymore, and then the message box will be displayed. So this time we should only get one message box after one second. Yep, one message box. Another thing that we could do is we could have it do something every time it ticks. So, for example, we could make it um, add a number to our text box every one second. So now what we're going to do on this tick event is we're going to have Xbox one dot, oops, dot text plus equals and then we'll just have it e plus equal no we're gonna actually create a new integer up here um let's call it int i will set it equal to zero and every time the timer ticks we will have it add one to i so we'll just increment it by one and then we'll print it out into the text box so we'll just do i dot two string so now the timer will continuously tick, and every one second we should get an increasingly larger number inside of this text box. So we should start out with one, and we should get two, and as you can see, it's waiting one second in between each time that it writes out a number into the text box. And each time, it will increase the number by one. And it'll just go on forever here since we never told it to stop. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the timer control, so see you guys.